Hi, I'm Sadia, a dietitian and nutritionist. Welcome to Pickup Lines. Here we go with round two of bento box meal ideas. Today's theme, lunch. Now you don't need bento boxes to make these. Any lunch containers will do just fine. And if you see this little recipe alert sign, it means that the recipe already exists up on the Pickup Lines blog. So I'll leave the link to that in the description box below for you to go and check out. Now keep in mind, these are just ideas. For me, it was enough for both lunch as well as my afternoon snack, but everyone's so individual when it comes to how much they can eat, so portion it out in any way that feels right to you. For now, let's just dive right in, shall we? All right, here we go with lunch number one. We're gonna start off by making this hummus and avocado sandwich. I have this on most days of the week. It's just so easy and so delicious. I start off by cutting up some veggies. I chose to use cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and some green olives, and about half of a very ripe avocado that I then sliced thinly. Then on two pieces of whole grain toast, I spread on this roasted garlic and red pepper hummus that I batch make on weekends, but you can use any store-bought hummus too. I top this with some fresh chives and basil, but you can use any herbs you have or just skip it if you don't have any. And then I added the veggies that I just prepared. And I sprinkled on some freshly cracked black pepper, which I feel goes really well with the avocado. And finally, some arugula, but you can use any greens you'd like here. Spinach works especially well too. Then on the side, I included two chocolate fudge brownie bites. These are so good and ridiculously easy to make. All I do is blend together some nuts, dates, and cocoa powder until a fudge-like consistency is formed. Now onto making this raspberry and almond salad. I just thinly sliced a quarter of a red onion and coarsely chopped some roasted almonds. I placed some mixed greens into the bento box and added some fresh raspberries as well as the almonds and onions just prepared. Now to make the dressing, I just added equal parts of olive oil and red wine vinegar, but any vinegar like balsamic will do, some pepper and a touch of garlic powder and then mixed it to combine. You really don't need much dressing at all because the raspberries themselves act like little packets of dressing that release their flavor when bitten into. And so that's the completion of lunchbox number one. For lunchbox number two, we begin by making this brown rice and green bean miso salad. I always soak my brown rice overnight first, which cuts down the cooking time by half. But if you don't have time to do this or wanna know how long it takes to cook the rice, check the blog post for this recipe. Now when cooking this half cup of rice, I also crush in half of a vegetable bouillon cube to give it some extra flavor. Then when it comes to a boil, I reduce to a simmer and partially cover with a lid. While the rice is cooking, I make the dressing. Here I added two teaspoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, but you can use any vinegar you'd like, two teaspoons of miso paste, you can find this from any Asian supermarket and it adds a real depth of flavor, a chunk of fresh ginger, some black pepper, and half of a freshly squeezed lemon, although if you have a lime, it works really well with this recipe too. And now blend it on high until it's completely well combined and set it aside while you prepare the veggies. For this, I diced two medium red bell peppers and chopped about 10 long green beans, although any beans will work here, and mince half of a red onion too. After this, the rice should be done cooking. Add the rice and veggies to a large bowl and drizzle on the dressing and toss it all to combine. Now I should mention this entire recipe makes about two servings, so enough for two days worth of lunch. Enjoy it warm or cold, it's super delicious either way. And then for my afternoon snack, I enjoyed this fruit salad and trail mix. I just started off with some fruits I had at home, a plum, a kiwi, orange, and some fresh raspberries that I prepared and made ready to eat. But feel free to use any fruits you have on hand. The amount I made here was also enough for two servings, so I've included half of what I just prepared in this bento box. And then on the side, I served it with this homemade trail mix, which was just almonds, dried cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. I also included a couple squares of dairy-free dark chocolate because, well, chocolate. And then I sprinkled on some hemp seeds for the healthy omega fats and extra protein that this offers. A super simple and incredibly filling snack. 
This was actually enough for both my morning and afternoon snack on this day. And finally, lunchbox number three. We'll start by making this Mediterranean roasted veggie and mashed lentil wrap. To begin, I prepare the vegetables to be roasted, which are three red bell peppers, cored and sliced, two red onions, sliced, and one zucchini that I cut into cubes. Then add these vegetables to an oven safe baking dish lined with baking paper and drizzle on about half a tablespoon of olive oil. Toss until the vegetables are coated and then add about half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder and some black pepper or use any herbs you'd like. They would be delicious either way. Toss it again and then bake it at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Now while the veggies roast, we prepare the lentil mash. For this, we'll need one and a half cups of cooked lentils, two heaping tablespoons of tahini, half of a lemon that's freshly squeezed, and one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika powder, and a sprinkle of salt, because I made my own lentils from scratch, but if you use canned, then you can omit the salt if you'd like. Then mash it until you get a desired consistency and set it aside. Now the veggies should be done after about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how roasted you like them. To make the wrap, I first added some garlic chili hot sauce and then the lentil mash, followed by the veggies that we just roasted. I also like to add a few green olives and some baby spinach, but you can add any greens you'd like. Then wrap it up. Now I would use a whole grain wrap if you can, but they're really hard to find here in the Netherlands. I'm still on the hunt. Now these roasted veggies and lentil mash make enough for about four wraps altogether, so enough for two people to enjoy over two days. On the side, I included these one bowl peanut butter and chocolate oatmeal cookies. You won't believe how healthy these are based on their taste. There's no added oil or sugar in this recipe and it takes only 15 minutes to make from start to finish. You can enjoy it as a dessert after lunch or as a snack. I batch make it on the weekend and freeze to enjoy throughout the week. So the wrap is delicious, just as it is, but I like to serve it with a little bit more of this garlic chili hot sauce on the side, and most Asian supermarkets carry this. Or you can use any hot sauce you like, if you like it spicy, that is. Now let's move on to making the afternoon snack. This is just a veggie and hummus dip. No rocket science here. Just use any veggies you have on hand or any veggies that you enjoy. Chop it up and add it to your lunchbox. Now this again was enough for two lunchboxes. I served it with this homemade classic garlic and lemon hummus that I also batch make on weekends to enjoy throughout the week, but any store-bought hummus will work too. I also added some cherry tomatoes and that's a wrap for lunchbox number three. All right, three lunch ideas in the bag. How easy was that? And as I mentioned in the video, there are more than two servings for a lot of these recipes, so you could easily use this video as inspiration for the whole week. Now, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if I feel enough love, I'll be sure to make more videos like this in the future. Also subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.